Jeremy Clarkson, 62, said things took a bad turn after the former Top Gear presenter got into a heated row with his friend about Meghan Markle. It comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released their explosive Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. During the three episodes which debuted on December 8, the couple opened up about the reaction to their romance being unveiled in 2016, shared unseen images from the Duchess' childhood, the Duke discussed his request for his wife to be protected from the media, to adorable photos of their children Archie and Lilibet. Speaking publicly for the first time since her daughter began dating Prince Harry in 2016, Meghan's mother Doria Ragland made an appearance and revealed, The last five years have been challenging adding that she's ready to have my voice heard. The Clarkson's farm star has since addressed the Sussexes in his latest column as he admittedly took issue with the Duchess. In a royal dig, Jeremy explained he and his pal could not agree on how awful they find Meghan. The on-screen star admitted the pair had been coming up with stronger insults before his pal lost control and crashed into a hedge. Writing in his column for The Sun, Jeremy wrote, I had a furious agreement with someone this week, and it got so out of hand, she crashed into a hedge. We were dreaming up better and stronger insults, none of which can be published here, even though they're all perfectly fair. Until eventually, my friend became so lost in the insult thesaurus, she lost concentration and hit the hedge. Jeremy had previously taken name at Meghan in his column last month where he claimed the Duchess will lose the war against the royal family. The Grand Tour host said he believed Meghan and Harry are attempting to build a new royal family in the USA. He pointed to cases when Harry had been filmed on a bus with James Corden, documenting his new life stateside. Despite the controversy surrounding their new TV series, people have offered their support to Harry and Meghan. Nadia Sawala sends fans wild stripping down to bikini for England latest Stacey Dooley says she's a moron in hospital gear amid baby arrival pictures hide a high actress Ruth Maddock dies aged 79 after accident tributes, loose women presenter Denise Welch argued, I've championed them for years and will continue to do so. They are a beautiful couple who have used their separate platforms to help those with mental health issues. Meghan has used her voice since childhood. Simon Harris tweeted, Apology, I've lost followers and caused some offense amongst my following by my repeated posting in support of Harry and Meghan and their right to have their say, and so it is with a great deal of regret that I say that I meant every single bloody word of it all. Munya Chaawa commented, If people are angry about Meghan and Harry doing a documentary, Wait until they find out him playing King Charles on Channel 4 this Christmas. Adil Ray remarked, The Harry and Meghan doc series is very, very good. Two smart, compassionate humans who clearly love one another. A huge loss to the royals and Britain. Meghan and Harry have since released a statement following the release of their docu-series as they defended the Netflix show. It led some to question why they would share such personal photos and footage in the program given their decision to quit their roles as working royals back in January 2020. But the couple's global press secretary Ashley Hansen has hit back saying their move from the UK to the US did not mean they wanted to lead a more private life. She told the New York Times, their statement announcing their decision to step back mentions nothing of privacy and reiterates their desire to continue their roles and public duties. Any suggestion otherwise speaks to a key point of this series. They are choosing to share their story, on their terms, 
and yet the tabloid media has created an entirely untrue narrative that permeates press coverage and public opinion. The facts are right in front of them.